make some cake today. I'm going to spray my round cake pan. Put some uh, paper in there, kitchen paper, and spray it again. I'll do that to both. This makes two layers. And then, or you could bake it in one big pan if you want. Put a little flour in there. And spread that around. This makes the cakes easier to get out once they're done. Just toss that in there and do that to both pans. Next I have a one cup of flour in here, my strainer, I'm going to add another cup. I'm going to add some baking powder, one and a half teaspoons, which that's a one and a half teaspoon measure. I'm going to add some baking soda, I'm going to add one half teaspoon of that in there. And just sift this together. I'm going to add my butter and my sugar. I'm going to mix this up for about five minutes. Okay, I got that all mixed up and I'm going to add three eggs but one egg at a time. There goes one. Mix it in and add the other one and mix it in and you know three times. <laughs> I'm chopping up my lemon zest. You need about two tablespoons and how I do it is I just take a, pe a peeler and get the, the yellow off and then just uh, slice that up into strips like and then turn the strips around and to start chopping and if you have trouble getting it small you just keep on piling it up in the middle and cut and then pile it back up and cut so I have about two tablespoons here I'm going to put that into the mixer so I'm going to add my lemon juice and I'm going to add it over a strainer to keep the seeds out that was two tablespoons of lemon juice and I always buy large lemons and that always seems to be half of a lemon. And the zest here is like two lemons. So put that in. And mix this in. All right. Now I'm going to add in like a third, one third of the flour. Mix that in. And I'm going to use buttermilk half of the buttermilk in. Okay, I'm going to scrape down a little bit. Put in a little more flour. And I'm going to add the rest of the buttermilk. handy. It's one cup of buttermilk in this container. I'm going to scrape it down again. Scrape down the sides. Add the rest of the flour. And then I'll just mix it again until it's combined. And then we're done with the cake batter. Just divide your uh, cake batter into the two pans and this is going to go in my 350 degree oven. I baked my cakes for 30 minutes and as soon as I get them out of the oven I let them sit here in the pan for 10 minutes and then after 10 minutes I go around it and turn it upside down like this one and remove that paper. I've split a vanilla bean here. I'm going to scrape out the seeds and put them in this bowl because we're going to make the icing, the frosting. I'm going to get all those in there. 
So I have the vanilla beans in there, the seeds actually, from that one vanilla bean. And I'm going to put in the butter, it's two sticks of butter, and the powdered sugar, two cups of powdered icing sugar. Mm, here's vanilla, some of my homemade vanilla, a teaspoon of that. Put in a tablespoon of heavy cream. I'm going to mix this up on high. So I'm going to start low at first. I've got one of my layers on my cake plate. I'm going to use some of this. This is lemon curd. And that's going to be our filling for the cake. Them on there and just spread this out. Got the lemon curd on there. I'm going to put the other cake on top. And I'm just going to you know, ice the cake. Next, I'm going to add a cup of water in my small pot. And I'm going to add a cup of sugar. I'm going to bring this to a simmer and let the sugar dissolve. Well, the um, sugar syrup, the sugar and water, has been heating up. And I can see like tiny bubbles bubbling away, almost like champagne. And it's ready. I'm not going to wait for it to really simmer. I'm going to add some sliced lemons in there. And just poach these gently for a few minutes. Well, these have bubbled away for about 15 minutes and they're kind of getting transparent. So I'm going to take them over to the sink and drain them. I have the cake iced and I'm going to put some of the lemon slices on top just for decoration. They're still fairly warm. I'll let them cool off just a little bit. I like that one. I'm going to get the seeds out of them too. Get the seeds out and just kind of put your lemon slices on the cake and to, to, for decoration. Well here's the cake and I put the lemon slices on there and a little bit of mint just for decoration. Let's have a taste. That's really good. Light lemony. I mean, that's kind of tangy. Mm. Thanks so much for watching.